So, this dynamics means what? Definitely the body is in what? It is in motion. Static means what? The body is in, it is in equilibrium condition. I mean, it is just at the state of equilibrium, okay? It is not moving. It is at its position only, okay? Body is not going to change its position with respect to time, okay? Dynamic means what? Basically, with respect to time, okay? With respect to time, my body is not moving, okay? And uh, apart from that, there is a no deformation. So that is what we call as rigid body motion. Okay. So in dynamics, what we call it is body is what particularly body is rigid, and it is what it is being moving from one place to another. Okay. So that is what we study in the dynamics. So in the dynamics, there are mainly two portions. That is what we call as kinematics, and next is what kinetics. Okay. So can you tell me the differences between these two? So for that condition must be what? Body must be rigid. Okay. So can you tell me the what do you mean by the kinematics and what do you mean by the kinetics? Come on, tell me. Yeah, Deepak, you as what you said. The motion considering the force causing the motion that is equal to what? That is equal to what? Can you tell me whether it is a kinematics or kinetics? Whether it is a kinematics or kinetics? Kinetics. Oops. Motion considering the forces. Yeah, correct. That is a kinetics. Okay. Kinematics. What basically in this particular zone? What we'll study? We'll study only about. Position, velocity, and acceleration. Okay, we'll consider about only what the position, velocity, and acceleration of the body. And what we are going to do here, we are neglecting mass and forces. Okay, and here what we are going to do here, we are calculating what are the forces that causing the body is moving from one place to another place. Okay, so in kinetics, what we are going to study, we are going to study. It is about the science. It is about about to study what what to study the forces, the energies, and the work, the forces. work and energy associated with energy associated with what with the body having some certain amount of mass with body having mass okay so this is what we what we are going to study in kinetics okay the forces work and energy associated with the body having mass And it is moving from one place to another. Okay, so with a moving body, with we'll add some word here with a moving body. Okay, so this is what we studied in kinematics and kinetics. Okay, so got the differences between these two things? Yes or no? <coughs> okay, now we'll discuss about the we'll discuss on the wall phenomena. Okay. So let us say this is my body. Okay. Now on this particular body, there will be some forces acting. Okay. So let us say this force, this force, and this force. Okay. Now to maintain this body in an equilibrium condition, so what we necessary we need to do? Summation of force in x direction must be equal to zero. Summation of force in y direction must be equal to zero. Correct. Fine. But now let us say I am adding one force over here in this direction. So because of that. Now these three forces are in equilibrium each other, but this unbalanced force, what it will try to make? It will try to make what? The body is in this direction. Now, if this force is absent, if this force in absence, absence, so what will be the analysis we are doing for this body? Okay, so that is what we call as static analysis. And the condition required for this analysis what? Body must be in what? It is in rigid condition. Rigid condition means what? 
deformation is what? Zero. Okay. Now, we are applying a force in this direction. So, body will move what? In this direction. Okay. So, that means, if I am considering just velocity, acceleration and the position, means at time T1 is equal to here, at time T2 is equal to here, at time T3 is equal to here, T4 is equal to here, then what exactly I am going to study? The velocity at T1, T2, T3, T4, acceleration 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is what we are going to study here? Position, velocity, acceleration. So, that means we are into what zone? We are into kinematic zone. Okay. The next thing is what? Suppose, you know, if I am applying a force on this body. Okay. So, after time T1, T2, T3, what will be the force required? When that body will come to the rest, okay, what is the opposition force required? What is the energy associated with the body? What is the warden uh, provided by the body because of this external work, okay? So, this is all it comes into what? Kinetics picture, okay? So, now, today we will start with the kinematics, okay? So, please just make a note of it, this two small thing. Okay, so kinematics, what is the condition? I mean, first uh, mechanics, what the condition is required? Body must be what? A rigid. Okay. So the next is what we studied with the kinematics. Okay. So here what we are considering? We are considering just the position, velocity and acceleration of the body. Okay. So for that, what we need? We need some uh, Newton's law of motion. Okay. So kinematics, rectilinear motion. Kinematics of rectilinear motion. Okay, with constant acceleration. Okay, so V is equal to U plus eighteen. Okay, V square is equal to what? u square plus 2as okay s is equal to what? ut plus half a t square okay now this is what we call as Newton's law of motion okay so what is my u? u is equal to what here? my u is initial velocity okay this is my initial velocity now, what is my V value? V value means what? Final velocity. V is what? My final velocity. Now, what do you mean by the A? A means what? Acceleration. Okay. What is the value for T? T means what? Time. Okay. And what does it mean by S? S means what? Distance travelled. So, S is what? My distance travelled. Okay, so just please make a note of these three equations. Okay, now the next condition. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, next numerical we move it. Example number one, page number 66. Example one, page number 66. Okay. So, what is the example on page number 66? The velocity of a particle is defined as V is equal to kx cube. Okay, fine. I will just note the things. So, what is the V value here? V value is here k, kx cube minus x square minus x square. Okay, plus 6x plus 6x. So, this is what my velocity. Now, as x value changes, my velocity will be what? It is going to be change. Okay. Where v is in meter per second and x is meter, compute the acceleration when x is equal to 2. So, what is my acceleration is equal to question mark. Okay. When x is equal to how much? x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. So, this is what exactly we have to find out. Okay. Now, this is what we what they have given a uh, given about the velocity. Okay. Now, what is my acceleration basically? The rate of change of 
velocity that is what we called as acceleration correct but now my velocity is here velocity is here is what velocity is what it is what a function of x okay so that means as my x is changing my velocity is changing okay so can i say what will be my acceleration over here acceleration is what dv by dt correct but now i know my velocity is what it is a function of x so can i say like that ki my do v by do x into do x by do t correct because my velocity is what it is function of x so that means it will be differentiated with x and that x will be differentiated with what velocity v now what is my dx by dt dx by dt is what my v and this is what my do v by do x okay now what is my velocity v i know this is what k into k into what x cube minus x square plus 6x okay and now what is my acceleration do v by do x okay so this is what we call as uh, 3 k x square okay minus 2x plus 6 okay now in the next step what we'll do here we'll just put a value for x is equal to 2 sorry yeah x is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1 okay and we'll get the acceleration value okay fine okay next numerical example number 2 so next numerical example number 2 67 so 2 And 67. Okay, so what they are asking to us? Okay, let's see. So a brake of a train reduces. Now a train is moving. Okay, so let us say this is my train. Okay, so this is my train is moving. From here to here it moves. Okay, now at this particular time, what it is speed? It is speed is being reduced to what? 60 to 20. Okay. So at this point, what is my speed? 60. And at this point, what is my speed? 20. Okay. So here, my 60 kilometer per hour. And here, what is the speed? Yeah, 20. 20 kilometer per hour. Correct. Now, it runs 200 meters. So that means, what is the distance in between them? 200 meter. Okay. This is the distance between them. Assuming that there exists a constant retarding forces, okay. So that means the acceleration rate is what constant, okay. So that means how much further the train will go before coming to rest, okay. So that means what is in a portion we have to find out distance travel equal to question mark, okay. From what this is my a position, b position, and at c position what will happen? At C position, what will happen? My velocity will be what? Zero. So that means this is let us say my position C. So what they are asking? What is my distance? So that means distance is equal to question mark and distance how we are indicating by S. Okay. At C. Now at condition C, what is the condition C? Where the velocity of the train will be what? Zero. Okay. Next is what? How uh, long it takes? Okay. How long it takes? So that means. B is equal to what? Time is equal to question mark. Okay. So in between these two duration, what is the time it will take? Okay. So that is what they have asked to us. Okay. So first of all, what is the data they have given? 60 kilometer per hour. Okay. So I will say my V A is equal to what? 60 kilometer per hour. Okay. So that means what is the in meter per second? This will be 60 divided by 3.6. Meter per second. Okay. Now, what is the value for VB? They have given VB value is equal to how much? 20 kilometer per hour. So this is 20 kilometer per hour. Okay. So that means this will be what? 20 by 3.6 meter per second. Okay. Now A to B. What is the distance? 20. So that means can I say this will be S A B means S A to B. What is S A to B? 200 meter. Okay, so this is the data we have. Now we can use this equation. U is equal to u plus a t. No, but for that we need to know what is the timing required from to this from the point A to point B. So okay, yeah. But we know the distance. What is the distance in between them? So we can use the equation number two. So what is my equation number two? V square is equal to what? 
u square plus 2 a s now v is equal to what my final velocity now about what direction we are discussing we are discussing about from point a to point b okay so that means me v means will be what b point velocity what is the b point velocity 20 by 3.6 so can you tell me what is the 20 by 3.6 okay fine you can find out so 20 by 3.6 square now what is the u u means what initial what is the initial value 60 so this will be what 60 divided by 3.6 square plus 2 what is a a is what acceleration so in this case it will be the acceleration now what is s s means what distance travel so what is the distance between point a to b it is 200 meter okay 0.617 okay fine so you will get the acceleration from here okay now by using that acceleration now from where to where we are moving from now we are moving from point b position b to what position c so we are now heading for position b to what position c now at position c what is the velocity at position c what is the velocity zero okay so that means at position c so that means this is my first position and this is what my second position so this is my initial and this is what my final okay so i am using this equation v is equal to what u plus at okay so now what is my u v velocity at c what is the velocity at c zero now v u means what here position b velocity what is the position b velocity i know it is 20 by 3.6 now what is the acceleration value just now you have calculated okay so put that value over here okay so now by using this you can easily find out what is the time required time required to move from what b to c okay now next case what they are asking to find out what is the distance it been travel to the to move from velocity of what 22 to what 0 okay so what the equation what the equation we can use time is equal to how much 9 second yeah correct what is the distance earlier 25 meter okay